How strong is Saturn's gravity? It is not that strong. In fact, even though Saturn is much larger than Earth, its gravity is only a little more as compared to Earth. This is because, as compared to Earth, which is solid, Saturn is only made up of gases. This makes Saturn very light for its size. Actually, Saturn has the lowest density of all the planets in our solar system, even lower than the density of water. Hmm. Why is Jupiter called a failed star? To start with, Jupiter is made up of hydrogen and helium, the same elements as our Sun. But it is not massive enough to create the internal pressure and temperature needed to fuse hydrogen into helium. Basically, Jupiter would need to be about 75 times more massive to ignite nuclear fusion in its core. Hence, Jupiter is called a failed star because it has the same ingredients as a star but didn't grow massive enough to ignite. Hmm. Why is the huh? space black? Simple, because Amsum looks awesome in black. Oh, Amsum. According to a study, the space appears black because the universe is expanding. This expansion is causing the visible light emitted by the stars to stretch out so much that when it reaches our eyes, they cannot detect it. As our eyes cannot detect any visible light, the space appears black to us. Hmm. Moreover, light has a specific speed limit. So, light from faraway stars has not even reached us. Thus, the space appears black. Hmm. Does a black hole huh? slow down time? No ways. Only Amsum can slow down time. <laughs> oh, Amsum! According to the theory of general relativity, time slows down near a black hole due to a phenomenon called gravitational time dilation. This is the effect a gravitational field has on the passing of time around it. Now, as a black hole has a very strong gravitational field, a clock near it will tick slower as compared to a clock which is far away from the black hole. Hence, a person near a black hole will age slower compared to someone far away from the black hole. Hmm. Why do astronauts huh? keep floating in the spaceship? They are not floating. They are swimming. Oh, Aum Sum! In vacuum, gravity causes all objects to fall at the same rate. Hence, in the space station, the astronauts and the objects are also falling at the same rate. Now, as the astronauts and the objects are falling together, they appear to float as compared to the space station. Wait, but is the space station also falling towards Earth? Yes, but as it is moving at just the right speed, the curve of its fall matches the curve of the Earth. Hence, the space station keeps falling towards the Earth, but never hits it. Hmm. Why is Pluto not a planet? Simple, because now Amsum is officially a planet. Huh? Huh? Oh, Amsum! According to the new definition of a planet, a planet is a celestial body which is in orbit around the Sun. It is spherical in shape, and it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Now, Pluto is in orbit around the Sun, and it is spherical in shape. But unfortunately, Pluto has not been able to clear its neighborhood. As in, it has not been able to remove the asteroids and dwarf planets present around its orbit. Hence, it is not called a planet anymore. Mm. What is a supermoon? No idea. But this is super Amsum. Oh, huh? Amsum. Huh? Supermoon is a full or new moon that nearly coincides with perigee. Perigee is the moon's closest point to the Earth in its monthly orbit. This results in a moon which appears larger than its usual size when observed from Earth. The technical name for the same is perigee syzygy, as in roughly straight line configuration of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. The term supermoon is attributed to astrologer Richard Knoll. Out of the possible 12 or 13 full or new moons each year, usually three or four may be classified as supermoons. Hmm. Why is Mars red in color? Simple, because I painted it red. Huh? Oh, um, some. Mars actually has many colors. On its surface, we can see many different colors like brown, gold, etc. Then why does Mars appear reddish? The simple reason is that the Martian rocks, soil as well as dust, contain a lot of iron. 
This iron reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and forms iron oxide. Now, the huge dust storms on Mars kick the soil as well as the dust into the atmosphere. Thus, from a distance, Mars appears red in color. Hmm. What if Earth was made of diamonds? <laughs> cool! Now Earth is Amsum's best friend. Oh, Amsum! Firstly, if Earth was made of diamonds, huh? <laughs> even black holes might start getting attracted towards the Earth. <laughs> Secondly, if Earth was made of diamonds, <laughs> humans might take Earth <laughs> completely apart. <laughs> hmm. Lastly, if Earth was made of diamonds, huh? Earth may now start charging for selfies. Huh? <laughs> hmm. What if huh? Earth became half Pluto? No ways. Pluto is not even a planet. Oh, I'm some. Firstly, Pluto is smaller than the moon. If Earth became half Pluto, humans on Earth's Pluto part may have to live in extremely small houses. Hmm. Secondly, Pluto is considered a dwarf planet. If Earth became half Pluto, other planets huh? may start laughing at Earth. Hmm. Lastly, one year on Pluto is 248 Earth years long. If Earth became half Pluto, humans on Earth's Pluto part may never huh? be able to celebrate their birthdays. Hmm. Why do astronauts huh? keep floating in the spaceship? They're not floating. They are swimming. Oh, um, some. In vacuum, gravity causes all objects to fall at the same rate. Hence, in the space station, the astronauts and the objects are also falling at the same rate. Now, as the astronauts and the objects are falling together, they appear to float as compared to the space station. Wait, but is the space station also falling towards Earth? Yes, but as it is moving at just the right speed, the curve of its fall matches the curve of the Earth. Hence, the space station keeps falling towards the Earth, but never hits it. Hmm. Why does Saturn have rings? No big deal. Omsum's rings are bigger. Oh, Omsum! One theory suggests that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a moon or a comet. Billions of years ago, a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn. Hence, the side facing Saturn was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Finally, these pieces might have started revolving around Saturn, thus forming its beautiful rings. Hmm. What if Earth huh? became half Venus? No ways. Amsum wants full huh? Earth only. Oh, Amsum. Firstly, Venus is the hottest planet. If Earth became half Venus, ice creams on Earth's Venus part may not last even for a fraction of second. Hmm. Secondly, clouds on Venus smell like rotten eggs. If Earth became half Venus, humans on Earth's Mercury part may start using air fresheners all day long. Hmm. Lastly, Venus has most number of volcanoes. If Earth became half Venus, huh? things may not end well for Earth. Hmm. 